Hello everyone, it's Saturday the 16th of July today. So we're going to bring in the Romance Angels to bring in a message for this day. So thank you Angels, what do we need to know for this day? Wow. So first of all, look at this, I've got four cards. The first one is trust. And they're giving, yeah, they're giving me fear. Now whenever I channel fear, as you know, it comes up as burpee energy. So I have to allow it to come out. Because if we don't release these things, it brings in fear. And look what we've got, release your ex. You know, when we don't release things that need to go, it brings in struggle and trouble and drama and hassle. And it brings in things we don't need, like fear and illusion and pain. So we have to release when we're guided to, when we feel it inside. So the first thing is trust. This situation, whatever's happening today, whatever you're thinking about, which could be connected with your love life, is calling for you to have faith. So have faith today and trust the journey and trust the love and trust yourself and know that all is well and allow yourself to release the past. It says the time has come to clear your energy. So maybe you know that someone is still causing pain in your mind and it may not necessarily be because you love them anymore, but they caused you some form of pain. So I'm talking about people who are catalysts to us, people who come in our life, teach us something to prepare us for the next step. So this could be an ex who abused you, could be someone who really hurt you in some way, let you down, left you in some way, maybe they passed away. Whatever happened between you, it could be something to do with children. So it could also be, you know, the father of your kids or the mother of your kids, depending if you are the guy or the gal. But if someone's hurt you in the past and you're still holding on to resentment or you're still holding a grudge or there's still something that needs to be resolved, this is the time now to clear your energy and trust that you are strong enough to do that. Now, an ex doesn't always mean a partner, you know, a lover. It could be something from the past that's created chaos in your life or struggle could be connected with a family member, someone who's hurt you in some way, someone who maybe made you feel vulnerable like a child. And it's time to clear away the old energy. This could be connected with your twin. So, you know, if they've hurt you, caused you pain, it's time to release that painful energy and vibration and forgive, knowing that in spiritual truth, your masculine is learning and growing. He is a child of the creator like you are, and really we are all innocent beings because we're all doing what we've come here to do, to learn, to grow. And we grow and learn through making mistakes, realizing their lessons, learning from them, becoming stronger from that. So the time has come to forgive. So I'm feeling this as trust that you are strong enough to forgive the past, to let go of whatever needs to go and to heal. And that's also how we reparent ourselves because when we are in the energy of pain and struggle, we just want to feel at peace and we want to feel loved and we want someone to say to us, it's going to be okay. The way when a child falls over or hurts themselves or is struggling with something, the parent says, it's going to be okay. Well, today, Archangel Michael, Jesus, your guides and angels, whoever you're connecting with are saying to you, it's going to be okay. They are reassuring you that you are safe and loved and protected. So the time has come to release the past. And that also attracts everything you want in. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So when we are living in the now and we are operating in that power, we attract in everything we desire. We trust the journey. We feel at peace with things. But to get to that state of peace and power, sometimes we just have to Take a look back at the past. Be very honest with ourselves instead of romanticizing things and let it go. Remembering that you were doing the best you could. They were doing the best they could with the experiences you were having at that time. And everything had to happen that way for soul growth. So forgive and heal. Don't look back in anger as Oasis said. Look back with love and bless the past. You know, when I think about the past in my life, and I think about people who've hurt me, let me down, walked away from me. I forgive because they help me to grow. And I don't feel anything really towards them. But, you know, obviously I feel love because they've helped me. 
but I feel very neutral about the experience. So the angels say, if you feel neutral about the experience and gratitude for what it taught you, you know you've healed it. If you still feel pain towards the experience or the person, you still have some healing work to do. And you may feel, of course I've healed that, but there's still something getting to you inside, then you know you need to heal it more. So use that as an indicator. Does that person or does that situation trigger you still? Does it create feelings in any way that aren't of gratitude and love? If that's the case, then you are still healing it because neutral energy means you don't really feel anything about it. You know, when I think about the catalyst in my life and the people who've hurt me, I don't feel anything about it. I just see it as an experience of love and I bless those people because without them, I wouldn't be here. But I don't feel emotion really towards it or towards them. It's just the past. And that's my power and that's your power. When you do this and you walk into your power, it feels amazing because the past can't control you. It never did, but it can't anymore. So remember your power. Remember who you are. So think today, who from my past do I need to release? What situation from my past do I need to release, forgive and heal right now? So it's not necessarily an ex. Don't think, well, there isn't any exy, so this reading doesn't resonate with me. This is anything from your past that needs to be healed. Anything that may make you feel vulnerable or childlike. Could be something from your childhood. This could also be connected with children. Maybe, you know, there's something happening right now around children. Your love life has been affected by children. So they could also be the children of your twin. And you have to heal any feeling of resentment towards them. And we've, you know, I've definitely experienced that with a married catalyst. Where I felt resentment towards their children, even though these are innocent beings. And I had to work through that and forgive that. And then forgive myself for feeling that way because these are innocent beings. So remember anything you're going through, take charge of your situation. Look at it with love. Don't judge it. Don't judge yourself for feeling a certain way or being in pain over a certain thing or, you know, beating yourself up about something. Instead, forgive and heal because you are already forgiven. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.